Okay, so welcome to the uh, today's showcase. Um, this will be uh, a quick look at uh, HEANET's uh, experience of Green Campus and Eco University, presented by Andrew Mackerel. And uh, if you have any questions or queries or comments, uh, please feel free to put them into the chat window. And uh, with that, I'll hand over to Andrew. Okay, good afternoon and welcome on the call. Um, what I'm going to talk about during the presentation is, first of all, describe what Green Campus is and talk about the benefits. It brings benefits both to universities, students in their learning experience and work activities at campus. It also brings some benefits for, for NRENs, especially in the area of dissemination and how we can spread our influence. So I will have a then sort of a more discussion about sort of the, the philosophy of, of the Green Campus program. I'll talk about HGNet's Green Campus own activities. I'll talk about the Foundation for Environmental Education, FEE, who are actually the worldwide coordinator of the Green Schools program. And I'll lastly discuss who's on the Green Team members, because you may want to get some information from them about the Green Campus program afterwards. OK, firstly, a Green Campus program is part of the evolution of green schools. It's actually known as Eco University in other countries. In Ireland, Green Campus was decided upon to be the theme to distinguish it from the green schools. As you can see, there's a nice logo for the program that has been def being defined. And this logo was introduced or was introduced after a competition which was run internationally. So the Green Campus program logo is used worldwide. And the only thing that's different is that the local sponsors can put their name down below the logo. Rather than just talk about the logo itself, I have actually included a description of the symbolism that's shown in the logo as the very last slide, but I won't talk about it. OK, so as I said, Green Campus Program, it's an evolution of green schools, known internationally as eco schools, and it involves post secondary schools and higher education facilities. And now we have negotiated that NRENs can take part as industrial partners. The idea of the Green Campus Program is to encourage a partnership or program to environmental education, management, and action in third level institutions. The program primarily aims to ensure man members of the campus community engage in a meaningful way to embrace sustainability on campus. The nice thing about this program is it's usually a student-led initiative. So it, this brings a lot of benefits to the university because it sets a, a forum for university management, academic, and staff to meet to discuss environmental issues on campus. Lots of times the program in a particular campus has been instigated by students who took part in the Green Schools campaign in the past and wanted to see what was actually being carried out in universities. So the idea is, is to create a more balanced campus. It, it's empowering students and staff, and we'll talk a little bit how that empowerment comes around. It actively presents and reduces environmental impacts. It can have a great benefit to reduce associated costs on handling waste and energy savings and other savings at the, on university campus. University College Cork, who have been part of the program for about five years, estimated they've saved over a million euros in savings just by being part of the program. They also have the unique distinction of being one of the very few ISO 50001 designated green campuses. Obviously, it's a good publicity tool, and it gains national and international recognition. Benefits to students and learning. It actually gives the students an opportunity to set up and form teams and work in a sort of multifunctional, multidiscipline team, and gain experience of working with, with others in sort of very unstructured environments. So it allows them to sort of build on their research skills, to 
plan actions and investigations and sometimes even to look at some of the subject matter that's actually part of their own syllabus. If benefits that the picking up skills that they can transfer to the workplace in communication, facilitation, teamwork and committee servicing. It allows the idea to introduce new topics into particular strands of their own sil syllabus and helps establish uh, curriculum links and active learning. Also to the data that, and information and activities are all local to their own environment so they have to act and move on the sort of research findings that they actually have and activities that they set up for themselves. Okay, why would an NREN be involved in this? Well, first of all, as NRENs, especially the NRENs that are involved in the green team, we've been trying to find ways to outreach to our client base. And what we found is that if we tried to go and actually preach sort of our ideas on uh, environmental sustainability to the campuses, they already had covered them and they were only a subset of the problems that they actually faced on campus. So it's facilitating communications with facilities and environmental groups on campus. We normally deal with the IES groups and those guys are already heavily laden with sort of um, their own projects and uh, strategies for the future. So what we're doing is we're establishing a relationship with the client and the NREN. As I said, it's not always technology-driven changes. We're trying to wor work on minimizing the impacts of any changes that we are making ourselves and, and trying to sort of minimize our energy usage and disruption on the campus. It also gives us an opportunity to work with students and lecturers and see other spheres of influence on the campus. As I said, we're, com we're communicating with other interested groups, not just the busy, overloaded IS department. HENET are the first NREN to seek green campus certification. Why did we do this? Well, we found, first of all, that we had the same stakeholders, that some of our pro projects our funding sponsors are also sponsoring the sort of university activities and we found that 35 percent of our own clients are already participating in this program so what does the program consist of well there are seven different focus areas that would be addressed on campus one would be litter and waste prevention reduction and management of resources that are used on campus energy conservation and reduction, and I've highlighted this in red because this is where an NREN can sort of make some influence. They also look at water, or travel, and biodiversity. While we can sort of mirror some of these activities and sort of look to see how we would do these in our own environment, we don't have the same student population, so it's very hard to make a big impact there. We do also do a lot of sort of procurement and environmental risk analysis work with the campuses and this is an area that we can develop in the future, especially with procurement of products and the disposal of such products. On the right hand side, I show a little logo that's one of the green campus teams at a college come up with. The idea have to have a sort of switch off and safe program and we widely encourage that sort of um, that equipment isn't left powered on and switched off if at all possible so as I indicated this is a full program so to do that each campus is actually encouraged to set up a, a committee to organize and oversee the program itself and obviously it has to be widely supported by the management team and what I show here in red is the activities and how they are actually going on at HENET. I should have introduced the background that HENET were initially got involved as we were providing multimedia support to the Green Campus program for their annual colloquiums and when we were there some of the participants express a lot of interest in us actually sort of getting involved and had lots of different ideas for us. 
Okay, as part of the green team, we had ourselves developed an environmental policy, and since we've followed up with an environmental strategy to make that policy operational, we had our, as also established an environmental team, and we were carrying out environmental reviews of our business processes. So we have an active implementation plan, and we are also trying to organize and run joint workshops with our clients, and I indicated that we do participate in the events with Antashka. This is usually a 15 to 18 month program to sort of assess a campus or a site's capability to be able to support the program, and we have been actively engaged over the last couple of years with the Antashka folks. So we plan to have a certification audit for October 2015, and hopefully we will achieve a positive status of that and be able to fly a green campus at our own, sorry, a green flag at our own facility. The green flag is the recognition that this facility has green campus or green school status, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of them flying outside schools in your local areas. Okay, we also looked at how would we bring this to an international dimension, and we work with the, the Foundation for Environmental Education, FEE, who coordinate the whole Green Schools campaign. They also look at sort of some other different initiatives which I've listed below. This group have been in existence for over 30 years and have presence in about 50 to 60 countries worldwide and in all the European countries. So we talked with Fee and Antashka to indicate that we were interested in working in the program and that how could we expand this program to set up that some of our other NREN partners could work with that. So we have established connections with the group and I list the international eco schools director. But what I can also say is that all fee representatives in each different country have been actively sent emails and encouraged to actually work with the RENRENs. And we have seen in one or two of the countries supported by the Green Team currently that there has been some correspondence. So again, if you want to contact to take part in the program, we encourage you to sort of contact the green team or you can also contact FEE themselves. The last thing I'm showing here, and it's just a quick reminder, is people that are actually on the green team, which is led by John Dyer and I'm the task leader. So we have members from GRNet, Nordunet, NIF in Hungary, CSNet, AMRES, Cynet and Surfnet, and we will soon be joined by another four to five NRENs, including the Giant Association. So we do look forward to sort of hearing more about people's interest in Green Campus and Eco University, and we will gladly support you for this program. So I suppose I will now open the floor to any questions, and thank you all for listening. Thanks, Andrew. That's very interesting. Uh, nice, nice presentation. Um, but uh, you have a question, uh, Antasha. Excuse my pronunciation. What, what does that actually does that mean? Something in in, in English or? Well, I suppose the the equivalent in the UK would be the National Trust. What they do is they look at sort of sites of sort of heritage or interest to the nation and try and sustain such sites and also look at sort of what could be good for sort of environmental or government policy. We also do have an environmental protection organization who and the environmental protection organization support this program and are also clients of us as well and they are also have helped with support for the program. Are there, if there are any uh, other questions from the floor, then feel free to um, drop them into the chat, or if you want to prefer to do it by voice, then raise your hand. There's a little little icon of a man raising his hand at the top there. 
Um, if you don't have any questions, uh, go up to that same icon and give me a, a green tick and, and we'll move on. Um, I, I have a question while, while we're waiting. Uh, so it is, um, this is obviously a, a, an, an international um, drive and we, we would like to encourage our NRENs to uh, take part in that. Um, and is there an easy way to contact uh, their local fee or would it would a Google search find them if they typed in FEE -E? uh, and what's the full term for FEE? -E? What does FEE -E stand for? It's the Foundation for Environmental Education and yes, uh, a Google search will bring you to the website and you can actually find the local contacts. In last year's environmental team report, we also published links in the report to all the contact details for the local fee representatives. And we can still follow up with an email after this showcase to give the same information. That's great. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, it looks like we don't have any further questions, so I'll, uh, I'll thank you again for your time and uh, everyone for attending. And uh, Ian, you have a question? That was Ian indicating that he didn't have a question. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's good. So I'll, uh, I'll just let you know this will be recorded and put up onto the um, uh, Shout TV uh, YouTube channel. We're publicly available, and the slides that you've just presented, including the, uh, the the breakdown of what the logo is, which is the last slide in this deck, is also will be available from that the same page. Um, and if you have any questions at all, yes, it's um, actually very interesting to see the history of the uh, emblem of the logo. You know, there's an awful lot of thought put into it that that I was even surprised about. That's great. And Ian's just uh, mentioned it, if it's possible to have the. Uh, the uh, internet link to the report, if possible. Yes, sure, that's possible. Yes, we will do. Okay. So thanks for everyone for coming on the call. Yeah, thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye bye.